Hi guys, this video is going to look at how you draw a queuing graph to be able to describe a situation that has occurred. So we're going to look at our example and this is about a um, service station where there are two places that you can pay for fuel when you go in. Um, it tells us that a customer arrives every two minutes and there's no queue to start. At 3.55 it increases to a customer every minute so that's five minutes in and a second console operator is supposed to start at four o'clock but they start at 4.02 and then we get a rush of customers etc. So all this information needs to go onto our graph and then we can go through answering some of the questions that have been asked. So to construct your graph you need to use graph paper or you can do it in your notebook but it does get a little bit hard to follow where you've actually placed people. Um, you do need to have a couple of different colored pens so I'm using green for wait time, red for service time and gray for idle. I'll also use gray where to dot when they actually arrive so I can keep track of that as well. Okay, so my scale that I've used, I've gone up in one minute increments to be able to help me do the service time, um, which is two minutes, and the arrival time, which at some stages gets up to one minute each. Um, sorry, service time is 90 seconds, so we can easily work out 90 seconds in there. Um, I've also gone up in increments of two to allow me to have a large number of customers because I'm not sure how many customers I'm going to see yet. So I can get started by plotting all of my arrivals. So I like to plot all my arrivals for the entire period at the start, and then I can go through and do the next part. Okay, so my arrivals in this case, we're going to start for five minutes with a customer arriving every two minutes. So we're going to have a customer arrive right at the beginning. So let me find my pen. Okay, so we've got a customer arriving right at the beginning and we're just going to make my pen a little bit larger. Sorry. All right. Now, so one arriving here and then in two minutes, we're going to get customer two arrive. There. and then in four minutes we're going to get customer three arrive and then it says that three or five customers start arriving every minute so we're going to get another customer arrive at five minutes because that's 305 apologies guys for my pen okay and then again at six minutes past and seven customer nine customer ten just going to go back and check how long this lasts for. Okay, so we're going to be going all the way up to 410 with every minute as customer arriving. So just bear with me and I'll work through this. Okay, so that's at 4.10 and then it said after 4.10 it reverted back to one customer every two minutes again. So we'll go to one customer every two minutes again. So guys, you probably use a dot. I'm using a line because my computer doesn't like it when I use a dot. As you can see, the flushing. Okay, and we're at 30 minutes now. All right, now there was also some other information about there being a bit of a rush. So there was a rush of six customers at 4.10. So let's go back to 4.10, which would be at the 20 minute mark. So that's going to change this bit here. So we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six customers. And then we're gonna go back to every two minutes. Okay, so they're all of my arrivals. After I've got my arrivals in, I can start inputting my service time. So I've got 
90 seconds is how long it takes my operator to serve. And my next one's not getting here till here at 402. So I'm gonna have to manage by myself until then. So let's get our red pen for service. And we can start indicating our service time. So remember it was 90 seconds. So we're going to be going to halfway across. So we finish there, we don't start again till here, and then we go here, don't start again till there. there. Now you should start to develop a sort of pattern that you're seeing repeatedly. So when my service time finishes, I'm able to go and serve my next person. And again, it takes another 90 seconds. Until we get to 4.02. So at 4.02 here, we did get another service operator starting. So they're going to be able to serve. Now this operator's finished. They can serve. This operator's finished they can serve and so on. So that pattern keeps continuing to have served all our customers. Once you've got all of your service in, you can then add in your wait time. So we go back and we're gonna fill in those little gaps that there are between our gray, where our gray line starts and our red line starts. So we've got a gap here for service, gap here. Your lines obviously are going to be much straighter than mine because you're going to have a ruler. And that continues again until you get to the end. Now if you do have a register that is on idle, you just simply would continue across from their service time and continue to draw another line. So once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks a little like this. So you can see where I've started there and now I've got my final version here. Okay, so you end up with that sort of graph.